Hey guys, it's Brett, your independent sensory consultant. I'm here with my part two of Bring Back My Bar warm reviews. So I did my part one uh, like a week and a half ago or so. And now I finally finished all the rest. It took a little bit longer, the second half for some reason. Um, it seemed like it just took a little bit longer for me to get through the second half, even though I had more. I had 13 in the first part, and now I had 12. But it just seemed to take longer for some reason. Um, so I finally got them done, and I wanted to do a review. I actually had them done like day before yesterday, but I wasn't able to film yesterday, so I'm filming today. So I'm just going to go over here, my thoughts on the second 12, and let you know what I think. And then I'll do a final little final thoughts at the end and I'll let you know which ones that I'm not going to repurchase, which ones that I will repurchase again, and then which ones I decided to put in my club. So let's get started here. First up we have Woodland Suede. Retreat to a tranquil wooded wonderland redolent with red oak, smoky cedar, suede, musk, and bright winter lemon. All right, so this one, it's nice, but I will say I I didn't love it as much as everybody else does. A lot of people are really loving this one, and although it was nice, I just, I don't know, it just didn't quite give me all the feels, I guess you could say. You know in a certain extent you just absolutely love. I liked it, and I went in the room. I had this going in the bedroom. Let me start out where it was at. I did this in the master bedroom, um, in case you didn't see my last video, I said in the master bedroom, I had um, I have two Salerno warmers in my master bedroom, so I had one cube in each of those, and then I also had one cube in the master bath, which is right off the master bedroom, of course. I had one cube in my 25 watt bubble iridescent warmer, and one cube in my 15 watt mini alabaster warmer. So I had one cube in all four of those warmers, so it was going all through the bedroom and the master bath, master bedroom, master bath. So I would go in there and it was it was nice. I was like, yeah, this is nice. I enjoy it. But I I don't know. I was expecting to like absolutely love it by what everybody else was saying about it. I just thought it was nice. But not I did it wasn't a love. So I have it's I get the suede musk. You definitely get that suede musk. I definitely get yeah, you get that suede feeling, almost kind of corduroy a little bit kind of. Yeah, it's a little bit like a corduroy, suede kind of smell. Um, the red oak smoky cedar. I do get that, but I feel like that's a little bit underneath that. I have, it's just a hint of that oak and cedar. Yeah, it's not super woodsy or super cedary. Um, winter lemon. I, I didn't get any kind of lemon or anything at all in here. Um, it's a mainly kind of scent, but it's not really cologne -y. It's not... I don't really think this is cologne. It's more, but it's not really woodsy either. I thought maybe it was gonna be more woodsy. It's it's kind of a suede, cashmere type of scent. Nice, but like I said, I didn't love it. Uh, I have mainly slight slight cologne, but not really. Um, it was light. It did like it was like a four to a five out of a ten in our bedroom, and it died quick. I don't. It, it kind of went lower from that, and it lasted for like, I think a day, maybe just a little bit on the second day. Um, yeah, I have not repurchased. I really, this is one that I might have to warm again. So I, I need to do it again, and then just really assess on what I think again. Because sometimes when you try it again, you'll get different thoughts than when you try it the first time. That happens sometimes. So, but based on the first time I tried it, nice, but not a love. So that is, Woodland Suede, but a lot of people are loving that one. Next up is Apple Press. The smell of crisp fall days, crunchy apples, juicy pears, and just a hint of the last full roses of summer. This one, oh, this one was so good. So, so good. Like, this is just a total apple scent to me. You could maybe get a little bit of pear, but not much. Mostly just apple, and and maybe just a little slight hint of like a little tad bit of a floral, maybe just a touch of floral, touch of pear, but mostly just apple. Oh, now on cold sniffs, when we first got our got these, and I did the first sniffs, 
something about this, this was the very first one we smelled, something about this I said had kind of like an off note to me, but I don't know if that was a little bit of floral I was smelling, but now I'm not smelling that. I don't know why I thought there was an off note to me when I first smelled it, but now I just, I don't really get that. It smells so good, but when you put this in your warmer, oh, it was so good and so strong. This is right out the gate, is like super strong. I put it in our kitchen. I have this one going in our kitchen. I have a 25 watt Every Moment Matters warmer and a 25 watt Winter Retreat warmer from a December scent of the month warmer. Uh, warmer of the month for December. And I put those two cubes in each of those. I want to barely, maybe just two to five minutes or so, it was just so strong. It, I mean, it hadn't even finished melting yet and I was just throwing like crazy and I was like, oh my God, it smells so good in here. It was just incredible. So I have so, so good. Great pure apple scent. It's it's a very sweet, um, it's juicy, all that kind of stuff. Uh, I don't think it's like, a, it's not like a tart Granny Smith apple, but it's not super, super sweet, like a Red Delicious. I feel like it's like in between, maybe like a, I don't know, like a gala apple or something maybe? I don't know, it's like not super sweet but not super tart. It's just a really good apple. I know they have Johnny Appleseed. I've never had Johnny Appleseed in the wax. I've had it in the pods and I did really like that in the pods but I've never had it in the wax so I don't know for sure how it compares to that in the wax. I really liked Johnny Appleseed in the pods. I feel, I like this just as much though. It's really good. And then I have Great Pure Apple Scent with just a hint of floral, um, not rose, it says roses, but I don't really get roses, maybe just a floral, general floral a little bit. But don't let that scare you off because it's not, don't think, ooh, apples and floral, it's, you don't, like I said, just an ever so slight hint of the floral, it's not really floral at all, really. I mean, I'm kind of, if I really think about it, I maybe get a little bit of floral, but like I said, not rose really, just kind of a, just a general kind of floral, but just very, very slight. And it was, I would say about a, a 10 out of 10. When I first put in the warmer, it was about a 10 out of 10. I have nine out of 10 in here, but I really think it was about a 10 out of 10. I mean, it was strong. And then it went down to like a seven and 10. I will say this one, was really strong for probably like two to three hours and then it dipped down quite a bit from when it was at first, probably to more like a seven out of 10. So it was like up here, like, and then just went down here, you know, to like a seven out of 10, maybe a little bit lower than that, maybe six to seven out of 10. Uh, and then, yeah, I have seven out of 10, then a six out of 10. Um, in one day or this was pretty much just for one day the next day I maybe just got a very slight hint of it, but not much um, So it was about a one day or I would repurchase this this is maybe a club I haven't I'll decide here after I'm done here It's a possible club. It was so good such a good apple scent even for those first few hours It was so strong that was amazing just amazing on that first few two to three hours and then it died down though But still really good Next up we have Flirtatious. Fruity and vibrant, a combination of green apple, grapefruit, and white amber. This one, I ended up liking it, but I don't really get a lot of those notes what it says in there. I mean, it's kind of, it's fruity. I get kind of a fruitiness, but I got like a green note out of this. I got a green note out of this and Gosh, who was it? It was uh, Patricia. Patricia Jackson here on YouTube, Patricia Jackson. She had mentioned in her video that she gets a green note out of Flirtatious. And I'm like, I totally agree. You're the only person I've heard say that. Nobody else has been saying that. Most people have been saying they get like just a girly, perfumey kind of scent with this. But when I'm melting, I got green. I didn't get the green note on cold, but when it melted, I did. And now when I smell it, now I'm getting that green note. Um, if I have slightly fruity but green, I get no apple. Yeah, not really apple. Maybe a slight bit of grapefruit. Maybe melon? Yeah, it, it says grapefruit and um, white amber, but it doesn't say melon. But I get kind of maybe a melon or something. Not girly pink to me. I get a green note. 
Yeah, I don't really get that. A fruitiness, but not really like a girly perfume note. A lot of people are getting girly perfume out of this. I get like a little bit of fruit, but like green. I'm getting green notes, even though those aren't any, and any of the description doesn't say anything about green. But that's in there to me. This was about a seven out of 10 when I first put it in, and it lingered for like three to four days. I had this going almost four days because some of these I kept in longer than others and I switched them out. I think that's why it took me longer because I just, I was getting busy and I didn't change them out as soon as I wanted to, so some of them went longer. This I had, I think, almost four days. And it was still going. I could still smell it and still smell it till like the fourth day. So this is, I think I might repurchase this possibly. Once I do my final look, once I get through with these reviews, I'll pause the video and then I'll go and look and decide what I'm gonna do. Cause I haven't completely decided yet, but this is possibly repurchased. Next up we have Crumb Top. The perfect blend of oats, butter, and brown sugar to top your favorite dessert. So this one was nice. When I first put it in the warmer, I had this going in the bedroom. So did I say where I had, um, I didn't say where I had Flirtatious going, did I? Flirtatious was going downstairs. In the downstairs bedroom I have, I didn't even tell you where I had that going, sorry. Uh, that was in downstairs, like I said, in the 25 watt um, classic curve warmer and 20 watt wild desert warmer from the warmer of the month from July. So this was going uh, in the bedroom. And I already told you what warmers I had going in there. So yeah, it was really good at first. You definitely get that oats, butter, brown sugar, you get all that. It is very similar to oats and honey that was out, I think, in the June, last June in Bring Back My Bar, I believe, or was it January? It was either January or June, Bring Back My Bar last year. Um, yeah, it smells similar to that, but I feel like this is a little more brown sugary maybe and less oaty. I feel like oats and honey was a little stronger on the oats and this is a little more stronger on the, like the brown sugar a little bit. Yeah, um, so I have it was nice, kind of similar to oats and honey, really strong at, and nice at first. Oats, butter, brown sugar, yes. And then it died down to a light medium later in the evening. So it was really good at first and then later in the evening it had died down some. Linger for two days. But then on the second day, towards the end of the second day, it turned into kind of like a perfumey. I got like a perfuminess from it. Towards the end of the second day, I don't know what it was. It was like, I lost that oats and honey brown sugar type of smell and it just was like a kind of like a sweet perfume or something. It was weird. I don't know that I loved it though. It was just kind of weird. I'm like, I don't know why it turned like that. It's just not terrible, but like just weird. I'm like, I don't know. This is, was different. It was perfumey or something on uh, the end of the second day and then on the third day it was still that way before I took it out of the warmers. So I have, it was eight to 10 at first when I put it in there and then like on the end of the second day, third day, it got down to like a four to a 10, just a light linger kind of when it had that perfuminess to it. So based on that, I don't think I'm gonna repurchase this one, probably not. Um, yeah, I, don't, I just didn't care for that perfuminess on the second day, but I loved it the first part of the day but I, I think overall, I think I probably prefer oats and honey. And they've done, they just finished the voting for the next Bring Back My Bar. And I think I've heard that oats and honey might have won. So even though that just came back last year, people really like us because they wanted to come back again the, in uh, June for the next Bring Back My Bar. It's a popular one. Uh, next up, we have melon and apple grit. Blah, 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 tongue tie. Melon and apple granita. Crisp apple and sweet melon surge with sparkling citrus. Now, this one was very, very good and strong when I first put it in the warmer. This is so summery. If you like fruity, like, like melon and apple, fruity scents, summery scents like that, you're gonna like this one because I definitely, I get the apple and the sweet melon, definitely. And a lot of people have said they get more of a cantaloupe than like a honeydew melon, and I would agree. It's not necessarily like honeydew melon, it is more kind of like cantaloupe. But you do get that apple in there and then you get that citrus, the sparkling citrus. It's got a little bit of a citrus in there with that apple and that cantaloupe melon. It's a good blend, it's really good. Um, these type of scents aren't my favorite. I do like them in the summer though. Um, 
but they're not my favorite. But this was good. I have strong out the gate. Like this was this was just like, excuse me, I have an itch on my nose, underneath my nose. This was like apple press. When I first put it, I had this going in the kitchen as well, before I forget to tell you. It was in my kitchen and just like the apple press, right when I put it in there, it was really strong. Like before you even finished melting, it was super strong. I had 10 out of 10, almost headache inducing. I felt like I was starting to get a little bit of a headache with this. It was like so strong and I was in there, I was like, ooh, -wee. it's like, ooh, my head. It was like starting to give me a slight headache. I didn't really get a headache or anything, but it just kind of felt like, like if you suffer from migraines or something from a really strong sense, be careful with this one because it was really strong at first. I have, for sure, you get the sweet apple and melon with a hint of citrus. Really good if you like fruity citrusy scents. And then after about five hours, it dropped to a light medium. So it was just like apple press after um, three, I had two to three for apple press. This maybe just a little bit longer, but then, yeah, this one was longer than apple press, I think. It, it was stronger longer. It was about almost five hours because I think I put it in around 3 p.m. And then right around 8 p.m. I noticed it got a lot lighter. So it was about five hours. It dropped to a light medium. So probably like 10 out of 10 at first, and then the light medium, it was probably like seven out of 10, maybe six and a half to seven. So it did drop quite a bit after five hours. And then, yeah, that's what I have. So like, it's so weird because some of, them, some of scents will start out like super strong. Maybe like here, I mean, this one in Apple Purse was like, Wah! it was like, just like, just like, you know, just going crazy, super strong, and then, oh, it drops down. And I'm kind of wish it would, like, not drop down so fast. I wish it would kind of, like, go down to, like, from, mm, to, like, eh, and then down to there. <laughs> Instead of going way up here to down to there. Does that make any kind of sense? I know that sounds crazy, but I feel like some of them just drop dramatically. And I kind of wish they would drop more gradually a little bit. So, yeah, I don't know. I may repurchase this one. This is a possible repurchase. Because I, I wouldn't mind, even though I have four cubes left still, but I would, this would be good, like I said, right in the middle of summer, you want something melony, citrusy, fresh, fruity. It, it's a really good one for that. Next up is fried ice cream. Vanilla with a nutty touch along with cinnamon and caramel. And this one, this one was nice. You get the cinnamon for sure. Um, this is another one that cinnamon -y, like uh, sticky cinnamon buns with cinnamon, but no buns hardly. This is kind of similar to that. You get the cinnamon for sure. Um, I get the cinnamon and vanilla. So it's another cinnamon vanilla scent, but I did get a little bit more. I feel like I like this better than sticky cinnamon buns. It gave me a little bit something more. I know some people have talked about it has like a corn, had like a corn flake kind of like the like the crusty edge that's on fried ice cream, whatever they like fried in or whatever. People have mentioned cornflakes and stuff like that. I don't know if I got that necessarily, but there was a little, maybe a little bit of it. I don't, not necessarily nutty, but there was just a little, it was a little slight more bakery than sticky cinnamon buns was. So I was like, you know, I, I think I enjoyed this more than sticky cinnamon buns, but it was a lot of cinnamon though. And, vanilla, and you know vanilla but that vanilla I feel like the vanilla made it not so red hotish because of vanilla and then a little bit of bakery so I have oh this is going in the kitchen by the way I have nice scent for sure you get the cinnamon and vanilla just a touch of caramel yeah just a touch not a lot of caramel not much of a nuttiness if any just a hint you do get a slight fried bakery element to it like I said I don't know about cornflakes necessarily though like some people are saying though um, yeah, so it was like an 8 out of 10 at first. It was pretty strong. I could smell it really well and then It lasted for like a day to like a day and a half maybe and then after the second day into the first day second day I would say maybe the second day it was it dropped down to maybe like a 7 and then the next day It kind of was when well, it was like a 5 on the second day when I took it out So not too bad. Um, I did linger in the second day because I could smell it still and it was doing well like a five out of ten, five to six maybe. Yeah, I, I don't. It wasn't nothing super different, but I did enjoy it. So yeah, I have. I think I might pre-purchase this one because I think I want to try it again. 
Maybe I try it in another area and see how it does. But I, I like that one, it was good. Next up we have Coconut Palm. A blend of tropical coconut and musky patchouli with subtle green notes. I really like this one. Yeah, this one was such a good earthy, earthy coconut. It's just like a coconut you get right off the tree. A lot of people said it's like grabbing a coconut right off the tree and just breaking open, breaking it open. Excuse me. I totally agree. You get that really earthy. It's like you almost get like the outside of the coconut, like the brown part. And then I did get a little bit of subtle green notes. It is subtle, but there's something in there. There's like a green earthiness in there. It's like, I don't know, it's like you're outside and like you, like the trees and then the coconuts, the outside of the coconut, maybe the grass a little bit, but it's not, don't think green grass or anything. It's just a slight subtle green. It, more kind of like earthy though. But yeah, it's, uh, it's really good. Um, I don't get musky patchouli. I, did, I didn't pick up patchouli at all in here. But I did get those slight subtle green notes. A lot of people don't though. Most people haven't been getting those green notes at all, but I but they do get the earthiness they talk about. Um, I have here, what do I have written down here? Gotta go to the next page. Got all my notes here. Uh, really nice. You get a tropical coconut. It is tropical coconut. Um, but it's not like super like suntan lotion coconut. It's just like a real coconut. It's a real tropical coconut. I don't get like super coke, uh, sunscreen coconut necessarily. Some people do though, but I feel like it's just a really good real coconut smell. Um, it's like you just pulled it off the tree, like others have said. I didn't get the patchouli, but I did get the subtle green notes. Um, not many others get the green note, but I do. Very earthy green coconut, and I loved it. Yes, I. I, it, it was so good. I don't feel like it was exactly like any other coconut that I've smelled. Um, yeah. There was another, what's the coconut that was in the spring summer catalog? I cannot think of it, what it was called. But that one was good too, but I feel like this one's, it, that didn't have quite the earthiness that this one has. So, when I first had this going, it was about 8 out of 10. And I had this going in the bedroom, I don't remember if I said that, did I say that? This was in the bedroom. 8 out of 10. Did really well. And then I had it going for about two, um, sorry, but I heard an alarm back there. I thought my phone was going off, but that's, my phone's right here. <laughs> I don't know what that alarm was back there. Uh, it was about eight out of 10. And then I had it going for about two days and it did really well. Cause I kept smelling it on the two, second day. And I think actually, you know, I think I might've had this going, I had two days, but I thought I had it going for three days because I remember I kept going in there and I was like, dang, it still smells. So this was lingering. Um, it wasn't eight out of 10. Second, third day was probably down to like maybe six to seven. It was doing really well. So yes, um, I would repurchase this possibly club. I will decide here after I go over these. Next up we have rum raisin cookie. Freshly baked cookie dough, scrumptiously spiced or sumptuously. I still think that's supposed to be scrumptiously. Maybe not. Freshly baked cookie dough, sumptuously spiced with rum, raisin, and clove will transport you to the corner bakery. Oh, this one was so good. I love this one. Mmm, this was such a good bakery set. If you're a bakery lover, I think you'll love this one. This one, people have said they think it's like an oatmeal, oatmeal raisin cookie. I agree. It's Phoebe's bar. Phoebe. Barking something outside. It was, I got some people, like I said, some people say they got oatmeal raisin cookie. I agree. I got that in there. But then I've heard a few people say they didn't really get oatmeal. Like an oatmeal cookie, they just got like a raisin cookie. Uh, yeah, I do though. It says fresh baked cookie dough. I got the actual cookie though. I got a cookie note when I was warming this. Um, spiced with rum, raisin, and clove. Definitely get that clove. It is a spicy, it's a spicy rum raisin cookie because it's got that clove. I love clove though, so I was happy with that. Spice, the rum, just a slight hit, a hint of rum. It's not super boozy or anything, but there could be a slight bit of rum in there. Phoebe, a slight bit of rum in there. Definitely get the raisin, definitely get that raisin. Hold on a second. Sorry about that, she was barking at the neighbors across the street. So yeah, definitely. 
get this spice. Oh, that clove is so good in there. I love that clove in there. Uh, and the raisin. You definitely get the raisins in there. I get that. It's, it, but it's, it was like a cookie. It has such a good cookie note. And this was like Apple Press was. And what was the other one? The, uh, for, uh, Melon Apple and Granita. When I first put it in those warmers, this was going in the kitchen. When I first put it in there, oh, so strong. I mean, I was just like, oh my God, it smells so good. Um, I have, oh my God, what an amazing bakery scent. Definitely get the bakery cookie. But mostly, well, I mean, cookie dough, I, I mostly get more cookie than cookie dough. I got a cookie, you know. Really get, got the clove and raisin, you get a tad bit of rum. It's like an oatmeal raisin cookie, kind of with like rum and uh, clove and rum a little bit. Strong out the gate, 10 out of 10. Yeah, this thing was just going crazy when I first had it going. Then after a couple of hours, about a seven and a half out of 10. Yeah, after a couple of hours, it did die down, calmed down a little bit, but not too bad. This one actually was how I prefer, I wish Apple Press and Melon Apple Granita. It didn't go like from here to like way down to here. It, it did go from here to kind of in the middle. So this one did a little bit better. It didn't die off quite as much, quite as fast. Um, it lasted about a day. Sometimes that's typical of bakery since it lasted a day. I did kind of smell it lingering in the second day, but it was pretty light. Repurchase, possible club. I love that one. Next up we have flower shop. Just like walking into a flower shop, that's all it says. And that's what it smells like. It's, yeah, it's pretty much what it, I thought it was gonna be based on my first sniffs. It's how it was when it was warming. So good, but this I felt was even more green when it warmed. So good. Um, it's just, the, it's like the stems. It's, you know, the stem part of the flower, like when they cut the stems and you, you get like that a little bit of water, the wet stems, like a little bit of water and the wet stems, the green, you get the leaves. And then you do get a little bit of floral, but it's like just a general floral. It's like just kind of a mixture. Oh gosh, it's just kind of a mixture of just a bunch of flowers together. It's mostly the green part. So if you're wanting more floral, you will probably be disappointed because it's, it's more green than floral. It's more, definitely the stems. But I love green, in case you didn't know. <laughs> I love green scents. I've said that a lot. And I've been really, 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 really itching for a really good green scents lately. And I've actually had quite a few in here that have been kind of green to me, so. I was pretty happy. So I have very nice, oh, I had this going in the master bedroom, master bath, by the way. Very nice, definitely the cut green stems of flowers. Kind of a wet green cut stems. A little bit of mixed florals, not one certain floral, just like a mix, mixture of florals. Uh, where am I at here? It was about, when I first put it in, it was about eight to eight and a half out of 10. So it was pretty strong and then, it went down to like a five to a six out of 10 on the second day and third day. But it was, a lingered, really nice linger. So I probably, it was probably more like a six out of 10 on the second and third day, but I kept going in there and I'm like, I still smell it really good. It just, this really kept going really well. So I have repurchase. I don't know about club. This one was green, just like the cucumber lime. I feel like the cucumber lime from my first part one of my first sniffs, or not first sniffs, my warm reviews in part one, I talked about the uh, cucumber lime. That was really green too. But like, I don't know. I think I might like the cucumber lime just a little bit better, but I really like this one too. I'll have to decide. I would definitely repurchase this again, but I'm not sure about club. We'll see. And next up we have Quiver. Innocent vanilla flower, warm sandalwood, and sultry tuberose in a seductive scent, meant to cause a shiver of delight. This was really pretty. I, I ended up really liking this one. I wasn't so sure about it on cold, but when it warmed, it was so pretty. So nice. I for sure got that vanilla with that uh, sandalwood, that warm sandalwood and vanilla flower like a really soft, like warm, sandalwoody floral a little bit. And then this tuberose, 
which two rows actually is not a rose. Even though it has the word rose in there, two rows is just like, it's a white floral. It's got like, it looks kind of like a, a daisy, like a fluted daisy. It's got, it's kind of a fluted floral, but then the top part looks like daisies kind of, but it's white. So it's not like a rose. So don't think it's got a rose in it. It's not rose. Two rows is just like a floral. It's like a white floral kind of. So you have the vanilla flower, which is floral, and the two rows, which is floral, but that sandalwood, uh, it's just really soft, but like a soft floral with the sandalwood. Really pretty. And it is kind of seductive and yeah, could cause a little bit of a quiver. Very sexy bedroom type of scent. Yeah, we had this going downstairs in the downstairs bedroom. It was really nice. So I have, it's very nice and pretty. You get the warm sandalwood mixed with florals, vanilla flower and tuberose. Uh, and then I talk about the tuberose, which I just told you about. Um, so soft and pretty scent. Not really perfumey per se, but pretty. Yes, I didn't really think it was perfumey. Um, even though it has that floral in there, it was just a pretty scent. Just really nice and pretty. And sultry and kind of sexy a little bit. So this was a soft to light medium. It was about it was about a 7 out of 10 on the one, first day. It wasn't really strong, but it was 7 out of 10. So a medium um, to high medium. On day one, and then day two was about a 6 out of 10 on day two. So... Still did pretty good on day two, I can smell it. And I think this maybe even went to a day three. Um, I definitely would repurchase this. I don't think club, even though I did really like it, but I for sure would repurchase this one. Next up is spiced berries. Frankincense and myrrh waft beneath decadent berries to create a timeless scent. This one was nice. Um, so I get the berries, but you do get like that spiciness in there. It's like this, spiced berries. It's the frankincense and myrrh, which uh, is, it's kind of incense-y, but not super like what you typically think of incense. So I looked it up because I mentioned in our first sniffs that I, I know frankincense I was thinking it was frankincense and myrrh both that they use like in churches, like Catholic church that come out, they swing that little, I forget about it, forget what that's called. It's, they swing it on a chain, it's got the thing in there, it's got the incense and smoking, it's kind of like the incense but that I googled and that supposedly is just frankincense on there, but I don't think it's myrrh, I think it's just frankincense. But um, it doesn't smell exactly like that, but it's kind of similar. I feel like when it, they have it going and it's kind of smoking, it comes off more incense like but sorry about that but this was a little different it was spicy but not like super incense like but it was nice and then i mean you get that myrrh a little bit i from what i recall on that frankincense and myrrh candle that i had from bath and body works i it's been some looks i smelled it but i was thinking it didn't smell exactly like that but i don't know i do get that spiciness in there though so i have Let's see, it was going in the kitchen. I said, you get the frankincense and myrrh, but not like a church incense necessarily, like I just talked about. It was not exactly like how it is like in the churches. Um, mixed with berry. It's different, slightly and unique. So it isn't, yeah, it's kind of not exactly like anything I've really smelled it for because they're, I don't know, it was just kind of different. So I kind of liked it because it was different. Um, I have light, medium, 6 out of 10. It wasn't really super strong. It was like a 6 on the first day when I first put it in there. This wasn't one that I put in there and it was just going crazy. Like some of those other ones I talked about in the kitchen, this was kind of light. At first I was like, okay, where's the scent? And then it kind of did start kicking in. It was about a 6 out of 10. But it stayed that way for like 2-3 days. It stayed around right around that. I kind of feel like some of the ones that you put in there that are super, super strong, they will like die down and be kind of like a lighter or medium sometimes really low but the ones that kind of start out kind of that way tend to just linger a little bit longer at that medium pace um this is how that one was it was lighter but it just kind of lingered a little bit longer because it did i feel like the ones that are super strong kind of burn that scent out faster and then it, it's lower on the second to third day or whatever or end of the first day second third but this one stayed in a medium and just was more of a 
more of that on the second and third day. It kept the scent just a little bit longer, I felt like, even though it wasn't as strong as some of those other were, others were at first. Um, I have possible reproach. Not a club, but I maybe would get it again and like maybe, I'd like to maybe buy it, get another one and try it in the bedroom and see how it does. Because I did kind of like that one. It was, it was unique, I felt like. Then lastly, we have this last one here. I saved this one for last because I thought I was going to really like this one a lot based on my cold sniffs. And it is Autumn Stroll is the last one here. Amble under a bright harvest moon. Leaves crunching underfoot as peppery cinnamon mingles with dusky plum and warm incense to create a spicy and comforting fragrance. So did I like this when I warmed it? Yes, I did like it. I don't know if I completely loved it as much as I thought I was going to, but I did really, really, really like it. It was really good. Really good. I liked it more than I liked the, uh, the other one. What is it? The Woodland Suede. That one was just kind of okay, but I did really like this one. I don't know if it was a complete, absolute love, love, but I did really like it. So I did get that. The Peppery Cinnamon. I got the Peppery Cinnamon quite a bit. That is, I think, what I got the most. It's like... It's a peppery cinnamon. You really kind of get that little bit of a peppery cinnamon. And the warm incense, I get that as well. It's mostly what I get. I don't, you can kind of get a dusky a plum, dusky plum, they say. Um, the crunchy leaves, which is kind of like, they have that in a lot of fall type of scents. That kind of earthy cr leaves, crunchy kind of leaves, kind of smell. You know, if you know, you know. Um, it did kind of have that in there, but I really get mostly that that peppery cinnamon and that incense type of a smell. So I have here, um, I have this going in the master bedroom and master bath, by the way. It's a really nice scent. Mostly get the peppery cinnamon and warm incense. Touch of dusky plum and crunchy fall leaves. It reminds me of something else. I still cannot remember what this reminds me of, but I would kept going in the bedroom and I'm like, racking my brain trying to think of what this reminds me of. Some other candle or wax mud I've had before, very similar to, but I, for the life of me, I just can't, I still can't think of what it is. It's like, it's very similar to something, but I just cannot think of what it is. But it's very similar to something. So yeah, but it was nice. I, I just kept going in there and I'm like, oh, it's really good. Really good. Um, I have lingered, it was a medium, about a seven to 10. Um, and it lingered for about three to four days because I kept going in there and I'm like, it's still lingering. It was kind of like the, um, what I just talked about, um, the spiced berries. It was kind of very similar to that. It was kind of a medium and it just stayed that way for like three to four days. It didn't start out super, super strong. It started out medium and just kind of stayed that way and lingered for three to four days. So yeah, um, uh, I think I would repurchase this one for sure. Uh, I just don't know about club yet. I'm gonna have to decide here in a second here. To me, I'm really trying to be strict about my club. If you saw my for part one of the warm reviews, I talked about how I got rid of my club back in November, but then I started another one back up, but I'm trying to be super strict on what I put in there because I don't want it to get really big again. I want to keep just, just the ones that I like absolutely love. Like when you, when you warm a scent and you go into a room and you're like, oh my God, and you just, you know, you'll know if it's just an absolutely, oh my God, I love this scent. That's what I'm trying to put in my club. I'm not trying to put ones in there that are just like, ooh, that's really nice because I feel like there's lots of those. And if you put all the ones that you just think, ooh, that's really nice, you're gonna have tons of stuff in your club. But if you just save your club for the ones that are just, oh my God, I love it, then you won't have as much in there. So there's quite a few that I, are really good and nice. I like them and I'm thinking, ooh, maybe I should put it in my club because I would like to have it again, but then I'm trying to reserve the club for the ones that are just, oh my God, I absolutely love it. Okay, so that is my thoughts for the Bring Back My Bar. Now I'm going to get these all together and I'm gonna tell you which ones and decide here. I'm gonna tell you which ones I will not repurchase again, which ones I will repurchase again, and then which ones I've decided are gonna go in my club. Okay, so I've made my decisions. So the easiest part was the ones that I didn't want to repurchase again, or club, of course. Those are the easiest things. And then the hardest part was the ones that I 
would maybe repurchase again. And then the ones for the club, I had it. Oh, that was a hard time, especially the club, because I had more than I thought that I was thinking about putting my club. So I had to really, I had to make some tough choices here. But first up, I will show you the ones that, the ones that I'm not repurchasing again. There was only three. There's only three that I know for sure I'm not repurchasing, purch, repurchasing again. First one is green tea smoothie. This was probably my least favorite out of all 25. It's just this one didn't do anything for me. It was super light and then I just, ah, ah, I just didn't care for it. It wasn't awful, I didn't like hate it, but I don't know, it just didn't really do much for me at all. Some people love it though, but it just didn't do much for me. So that was an easy not repurchase for me. Pear blossom cucumber, yeah. Yeah, I didn't, it was just a mm, kind of okay. I didn't, easy, go, easy no repurchase for me on that one. Coconut pumpkin pie. So this was nice and you kind of get, it was nice because it had coconut with the pumpkin and stuff, but I don't know, I'm just kind of burned out on pumpkin type of scents because of fall. And I just don't really feel like it was different enough or anything to repurchase again. So not repurchasing that one. Then, Next up we have, these are ones that I may repurchase again, but I have to warm again. I have four cubes left out of each of these, like out of all these, well, except for one of them, Brad used the other four cubes downstairs. So, um, oh, I had one more too that I forgot to talk about. Okay, yeah, actually, I'll talk about that right now. I have one more, sorry, there's four that I won't repurchase again. Brad actually used this. I don't have the the um, the, sh the bar empty container. I don't have it because Brad used it downstairs and he threw it away, I guess, because I can't find it anywhere. He must have thrown it away. But it was for the sticky cinnamon bun. That is one I won't repurchase again. That was just cinnamon and vanilla. I feel like you could buy cinnamon and vanilla from Scentsy and it would kind of give you that. I didn't feel like it was anything too different from that to like make it special it's nice it's not a bad scent don't get me wrong because he had it going in the salon down there and i'm like yeah it smells nice it smells good but i don't feel like it was anything too different than what you can normally get from other scents so i won't be repurchasing that again so that's four there these here are ones that i i'm going to finish the other four cubes and then i will decide if i'm going to repurchase them again possible repurchases fried ice cream that's like I said, kind of like sticky cinnamon bun. It's got that cinnamon vanilla, but it's got a little bit of other stuff in there. A little more bakery than that was. Really liked it. Um, I'm gonna warm these other four cubes and decide if I wanna repurchase any more or not. Because I'll probably, when I close out my party for uh, our January orders, we have a party we're gonna close out at the end of the month. I wanna close it out before the end of January because we get double half off rewards if we close it in January. So when I close that, um, I'll probably order some more. So if I decide, I want to try to warm that before the end of the month so I can decide if I want to order another one. At least one more bar. I'll do like a couple of six packs or something. And then a three pack or whatever, depending on how much I have. Autumn Blaze Maple is another one that I may repurchase. I don't know. I'm going to melt it again and see what I think. I do like that one. But again, it's a fall. I'm a little bit over these type of scents right now. But come next fall, I probably would like to have that again. We'll see. And then crumb top. Uh, you know what? I don't think I'm gonna repurchase this one again. I forgot, I don't know what, it, it had that perfume on the second day, I don't think. Well, I'll melt it again and I'll see. That's why I have it there. I will, I'll melt it again and see what it's like if I get that perfuminess again on the second day or whatever. And if, cause I did really like it when I first, I remember when I first melted it and I went in the bedroom, I was like, oh my God, it smells so good. I told Brad, I said, it smells so amazing to the bedroom. It was just, that second day when it turned perfume, I wasn't so sure about it. So I'll try that again and then decide after I melt the second half. Woodland suede, I'm gonna melt the second half and see. But based on the first time I melted it, I wasn't as amazing as I thought I was gonna like it. And like everybody else likes it, and it's just kind of okay. I'll see when I melt it. If I change my mind, I might order another bar or something. All right, now these are ones that I for sure wanna order another bar, at least one more bar of. Like when I close out my party, I'll just throw a bar in there. 
with our um, host credits and half price rewards. Pima Cotton. This is one that almost went to the club. This almost went to my club. I had to really decide hard if I wanted to put this in my club. It's such a good cotton, just a good laundry cotton scent. But I feel like it's very similar to like clothesline. I would have to have those two side by side to really smell and see which one I like better. But I feel like if I didn't put this in my club, there's always clothesline. It's, it's, I like that one too. I don't like these all the time, but I really like them to like just freshen things up. You know, so I don't know if I necessarily need to put it in my club, but I did really like it, but I definitely for sure will, will order another one. Quiver. I also thought about this for my club because I did really like it. It's a really pretty scent, but it wasn't an oh my God love. Like I said, I'm trying to reserve the club for the oh my God. I absolutely love it. Even though Pima Cotton, I was like, I did really like it, but. And then also for the club, I'm trying to be, oh, I want to say, oh my God, I love it. And then keep it for things you really can't get anything similar to all the time. That also makes it, per, makes me put them in the club. This quiver is really nice though, but um, I don't think I'm, I don't think it's going to be my club, but I'm going to, I will get another bar of that one. Cranberry muffin that also almost went my club, but I don't know. There's always bakery scents out there. I feel like so I don't know. I don't think it's gonna make my club, but it was really good. God, I don't know. That might be a warm. That might end up being I'll warm the second part and then decide if I warm the second half and decide. I absolutely love it. Again, I'll put it in my club. Mm, I don't know. Coconut palm. God, this is another one I almost wanted to put in my club. But I just feel like there's some other coconut scents too here and there. And this was, but I did like the earthiness of this one. Oh God, it's so hard. Like this is, some of these were the ones you really, really, really like and you want to put in your club. But God, I'm, I'm trying not to put everything in my club. So I didn't put it in my club. Apple press. I didn't really like it. But it got so much lighter after the first few hours. Yeah, I like it, but I don't I don't think it's going it's not going to my club, but I will get another one of that one. Melon Apple and Granita. Um, not club, but it was really good. I will get another one and then I can warm that in the summertime. It'll be really good. Perk me up. I wanna love this so much, but Brad used the other four cubes down in his salon and he said it did well for him in there. But I just think overall it's just it was too light. Some people said that theirs was light, but it still worked well, but I, mine, it was just way too light for me. I thought hazelnut latte did much better. So yeah, I don't think I'm gonna get this. I'm really curious to try coffee tree. A lot of people talk about that one. I hope they bring that back someday for bring back my bar or in some collection so I can try coffee tree because I think if it's stronger, I probably like it because I really liked this. It's just wasn't strong enough for me. Autumn stroll. I like it. I just don't think it's club for me, but I will repurchase another bar. And then Peppermint Rush. Really like this one too. I will definitely get another bar, but it's not club worthy. Spice Berries. I liked it. I'll get another, another bar, but it's not club worthy for me. Rum Raisin Cookie. Oh gosh. That almost got up to the club, but I don't know. It didn't last a long, long time, but it still was nice. I don't know. I'll melt the second half and see if I change my mind, but I don't think it's going in the club, but I definitely will get another bar. And then flirtatious. So I liked the green note that it turned into because I love green notes. So of course I'm going to love it because it had a green note to it. I'll definitely get another one, but I don't, excuse me. I don't think it's going in my club. So how many bars here did I have? for repurchase. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 16. So I probably would do like two six packs and a three pack or something, depending on how many I end up getting. We'll see. All right, now the last one, these are for sure club. There's five, five left that I'm putting in my club. First up, vanilla cream. I knew for sure I was putting this in my club. I love this scent. I think this, I think this was my favorite out of all. This was my favorite out of all 25. I love this one. 
it I can't believe how much I loved it because on when we did our first impressions, I thought it was just this dollar store basic vanilla scent that wasn't that great. But gosh, it changed when I'm warming. It turned into such a good vanilla scent. It's just it's just a simple vanilla scent, but I personally thought it was better than simply vanilla. Um, I feel like simply vanilla had a touch bit of like a perfuminess to it. I liked it, but it, I just like this way better. There's no perfuminess at all in here. It's just good creamy vanilla, but no buttercream or anything. It's not like buttercream, vanilla bean buttercream. It doesn't have that butteriness, but it's just a simple basic vanilla, but a good basic vanilla. Good and real nice and creamy user-friendly, really good, and I just, this was a, oh my god, I absolutely love it every time I went in the room, so, and you can never have too much of these. I actually have two in my club, and this is the first time I've ever put two bars of one fragrance, the same fragrance. I've always just had one bar of each. I put two in here. I almost wanted to put three, but I'm like, I'll just do two for now. Um, you can't raise it. When you put them in your club, you, can, you can't raise the number, but you can lower the number, but um, I'm just doing two for that one. Next up, Hazelnut Latte. I really like this one, I thought it was really good. I, some people say they don't get the coffee that much. They get just like a hazelnut vanilla type of thing. I get a little bit of coffee though. It's not a lot of coffee. It's, it's, it's not like the Perk Me Up was at all, but there's a touch of coffee in there. I feel like it is like a hazelnut latte that, that is more, you know, stronger on like the the creamer and the vanilla and all that stuff, frothy milk and all that stuff, and then just a little bit of coffee. That's what it's like. But it was so good when I warmed it, and I, they just don't have that many good coffee scents, so I want to put that in my club. Next, we have this is this is another one I knew for sure. Let me show you this one: cucumber lime. This one was so good because it was green, and I love green scents. I got mostly the cucumber, but like green and just a little touch of lime, but mostly that cucumber, but like green now, it almost came off like green grass. And I love fresh cut grass scents. So I was here for this. It had that green cucumber, fresh cut grass type of scent was so good. Loved it. And I feel like these don't, you can't find too many of these around. Like right now in the catalog, I don't think there's any green, well, of course it wouldn't be for the winter, but even in the spring and summer, um, last year, I don't think there was any green scent. I mean, they have like aloe water and cucumber and things like that, but I don't feel like that is really green. It's got that little bit of cucumber in there, but I don't feel it's really super green. Not like fresh cut grass or anything, kind of green. They had Wally from the Wally collection, Wally classified. That was really good too, and I really wish I would put that in my club because that was almost like a green grass scent, but I didn't. But that wasn't in the regular catalog. It's gone now. So they don't get too many green scents out. So. I wanted to put that in my club because I'm always up for a green scent. And then Flower Shop. I almost didn't put this in there because I have Cucumber Lime, which is a green type of scent, but this, like I said, you just don't get that many. And I, I did really like this. I struggled with if I was going to put this in there, but for now I'm putting it in my club. And then last for the club is Mediterranean Spa. I really ended up liking this one. It was just so good and fresh and clean you get that kind of lemongrass in there with just like uh, just relaxing refreshing refreshing notes kind of spa like just so clean and fresh and i i've been really liking clean and fresh since right now because i feel like after winter well not after winter after christmas it's still winter till march but after christmas you've been doing so many pumpkin scents so many cinnamon scents so many pine scents all that kind of stuff and then when you take down your Christmas decorations, you just kind of want to like clean things out and kind of make things fresh. And I feel like this just really did it. And it's really good for like the bathrooms and the bedrooms and things. You can never go wrong with a good fresh scent like this. So I'm putting them in my club. I don't know how long it'll stay there. I may end up taking it out after I get, you know, after a couple of clubs and I get a few more bars, I might take it out. So all five of these are going in my club for now, the five here depending on what happens in the next few months. My next shipment is in March. So depending on what comes out in the next few months on if there's other things that come out in different collections and things that I put in my club, I may take a few of those out. Like maybe, I don't know, flower shop. Um, was it, I didn't know for sure. So I don't know, we'll see. 
I might make adjustments later, but for now those five are going to my club. All right, so that is it for my part two of my warm reviews for Bring Back My Bar. So I had so much fun doing this. I love doing the Bring Back My Bars, warming them all and trying them out and seeing which ones you like. And I love watching everybody else's videos, like I said, and seeing what everybody else thinks. Everybody has different noses, different likes, different loves and all that stuff and dislikes. So thanks for watching and um, yeah. So we have what's coming up next. I'm probably gonna do some, I'll do another video probably of the warm reviews from my Valentine's collection because I have two already warmed and I have one more I'm gonna warm. And then I also did the Sun of the Month for January Pineapple Rose. I just did that yesterday. So I'll probably do another video talking about the Valentine's collection, the Sun of the Month, and what I thought of them when I warmed them. And then um, next month for February will be transition month. So everything in the catalog should be 10% off for the 10 to 20% off, I think, for the month of February. And then the spring and summer catalog comes out in March. So I'm ready for spring and summer. I'm always ready right at the beginning because I just, I do love fall and winter scents, but I'm always ready for spring and summer because I love spring and summer. So I'm not a big winter fan, even though I do love the fall and winter scents. I'm just, weather wise, I'm not a big winter fan. All right, so thanks for watching, and I will talk to y'all in our next video. Bye.